So um, as, as far as nutrition goes, can you give us like a, a typical day of, of something that you would eat if you were doing a fit to mass journey where you're trying to get gain mass, mm -hmm. but trying to stay lean, like what, what would a typical day look like for you? Well, I think I think first and foremost is you gotta plan things out and yeah. kind of like what you're talking about right now, making sure you're, that you're you're not overeating one certain type of food. You're getting yeah. in all those phytonutrients, those yeah. those micronutrients that are really gonna play more of a a, um, a, a benefit in, in your real in the real everyday health. Yeah, which is always the most important thing at the end of the day. But for me, if I was looking to slowly gain mass, yeah. I'd first of all concentrate on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates yeah. are the things that you know if you're looking to add weight, you need that energy to really push yourself in the gym. Yeah, things like steel cut oats, the oats you, you were talking about, yeah. even quick quick cooking oats, um, sweet potatoes, um, even. I love Ezekiel bread. Um, it's really yeah, gonna I've be. Had that. Yeah, it's good yeah, stuff. It's good. I, I just like staying away from processed things. If you have, you know, any kind of gluten intolerance, you know, you might want to stay away from those. But anything that's gonna be a little bit lower on the glycemic index, you since you are gonna be eating probably more carbohydrates than you're used to, you want to make sure that they're um, very minimally processed and also watch the fat content in some of those things. You know, you want to be keeping the trans fats in check. Um, you know, I love my avocados, my, my <laughs> olive oil, my coconut yeah. oil. So I would be also, probably for me, that would be where a bulk of my calories also came from. Okay. Was a little bit more fat. Great for hormone production. But for yeah. me, when, I, when I'm gaining, my protein, because Cubs carbs are protein sparing, and what I mean yeah. by that is you don't need quite as many much protein if you're getting adequate amount of carbohydrates. Yeah. And that's, to me, that's that's crucial in a bulk. Okay. Lean mass. Yeah, I know. I think that's right in line with what I, you know, I'll be demonstrating, you know, show my meal plans and my workouts. Now, as far as training goes, you know, do uh, with with keeping the fat mass down, does that mean you have to implement cardio? What's your take on cardio? Well, I, I this type of a journey. I always yeah. think cardio is a good thing to keep in just for your heart. Yeah. Um, I when I'm when I am trying to gain a little bit of muscle, I don't do cardio to where I'm overtaxing things where I'm really dipping into my glycogen storage. What I'll, yeah. what I will do is my high intensity interval training on my day to, days off. That's such a great way to uh, get those mitochondria, you know, acting, you know, pretty much helping to burn that fat, you know, keep that muscle, because pretty much it's a leg workout with, with a high intensity interval training. Um, you know, you're going to be having so much hip and knee involvement in there that it's, it's, it's just basically another leg training. So doing that is going to really help post oxidative consumption. And this might all sound a little bit crazy to you, but you're going to be burning fat while doing your cardio. And then I also might throw in a couple of days of hiking around or playing sports. Might not concentrate so much on walking, you know, for 30 minutes exactly. I'd make sure I was having right. fun. Yeah, well, that's important to, to keep it fun because if you're just in the gym every single day, you know, it gets old, it gets monotonous. So, so it's true. good to get out there, especially in nature if you can, and uh, and do fun, it's something that's fun so that this, this journey is an enjoyable one. So anyways, um, Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna be bringing Steve Cook in with me to, to you know, for future videos and future advice because, like I said, it's good to bring someone else in. I, I don't claim to know everything, and uh, you know, I it's certainly don't good. either. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> it's always good to learn from others and get other people's perspectives. So uh, it's gonna be good to to have you along, and uh, it'll be cool to do this fit to mass journey. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm stoked. What Thanks, you do, bro. what you do is is amazing. So. I, Anytime you can can be uh, part of something Drew's doing, I'm I'm very excited about it. But. Yeah, I might I might talk him into doing a future uh, exciting journey, but we'll see. More to come on that. <laughs>